Well, hello and welcome to some record shopping. We're doing this international style. We're in Mazatlan, Mexico. Si. With Sam right here. She's my Spanish interpreter. Si. <laughs> <laughs> uh, we really haven't found too many records at all, or any CDs or anything of that nature. Um, this area doesn't seem to really have, I don't know, just a, you know, bumping music scene, I guess. Uh, so we're going to go down to the market today and see if we can find anything. And, uh, and take my Spanish interpreter. So why don't si. you why don't you come along for the ride? It's going to be great. Bring Vámonos. Your, and bring your pesos. <laughs> okay. See you in a bit. So we're at the downtown Marqueto. Si. Marqueto. Marqueto, that's the word. What's that? Marqueto. <laughs> Do you wanna? Can you film me right now? Yeah, yeah. Do you wanna turn this way? Okay. Can you turn it to involve me? What's that? A little bit. No. Anyhow, so the record shopping at the a lot of the markets, all the CDs are like like burnt CDs, and most of it is Banda music. Which Banda music is sort of um, when the German immigrants came to Mexico. Uh, it's sort of you know, what you would kind of think of like an Oktoberfest, sort of, um, you know, like an oompapa <laughs> on, the, on, the, uh, um, on the tuba. But apparently that music had, has been, you know, it, it came out, you know, in the, in the early 1900s and it really has not changed. It's very, you know, it's very, you know, the same thing and that's kind of the popular music here. Uh, we did find a place, it's called, it was just like Grand Plaza, which was just sort of like a, kind of like a rundown shopping mall. Um, I mean, there was some staple stores in it, but there really wasn't a lot of people there. And I don't, you know, like I said, this area is sort of, you know, not necessarily something where, you know, there's a lot of people kind of shopping, you know, the, you know, it, just with the locals, you can kind of tell that. Uh, but we did find that in, in Grand Plaza there was a there was a CD store. It was totally awesome. I went in and I've been I've been taking this with me, the the Bomb Born in the Garage Volume Two, which has been a lifesaver. Because uh, the first couple of days out here, we tried to, you know, just discuss the music with the people, um, you know, as far as with what we were looking for, and um, uh, you know, they really didn't understand what we were talking about. And um, like I said, most of it was pirated. We weren't really looking in the right place, I guess. But so we found this record store, and um, I flipped open, you know, the bomb born on the garage. And there's a part in there just about kind of Mexican, you know, 60s rock and roll music. And, um, you know, we were, you know, put it out in front of the guy, and he was like, oh, you know, it, oh, it's all in Espanol, you know, it's all Spanish, and we're like, that's what we want. Um, so he just, he, we just kept going, like, I grabbed a bunch of the CDs that I thought were right, that were on the counter, and then he sort of came over and was bringing more things for me, which was really cool, and, and you know, he had probably about, you know, 20 or 30 CDs out on the counter, and <laughs> we, had, we had to go to the ATM because we really didn't have that much cash. Like, that's one thing we really haven't been, you know, carrying too much cash on us because everything is very, very cheap. Um, you know, like, basically 200 pesos is like $20, and you can go and, you know, and, and get like, you know, a couple 40s of beer and, uh, you know, tortillas and, you know, all, that st all the stuff that you need, right? Um, but anyhow, so he he pulled out all these CDs, and we went and uh, you know basically, uh, you know I got quite a few CDs, and it was only a, a thousand pesos, which is about um, probably about seventy five dollars American. Um, this is from the Bomb book here, Punk Rocks of Mexico. Um, we uh, basically all I do is I just kind of pop this book open to this page, and you know there's there's some bands in here that are sort of you know that were very very big in Mexico during the 60s. Um, Los Apsan, which I got two of their CDs here, so we'll take a look at those in a moment. 
so here's taking a look at the different CDs that I got here. So we got there's a Los Ops on uh, new hits. Um, this is these are actually these are the exact same CD, different covers, but um, oh well, <laughs> uh, still some pretty good stuff on it here. Um, I don't know if you can see that or not. Betcha, betcha. So you got Wooly Bully on there. Um, you know, Mr. Moonlight, uh, Sweet Little Sixteen, Baby Elephant Walk. Um, and also, Time Won't Let Me is on there too. That's really cool. Uh, so I wonder how that one sounds. You know, one of their biggest songs was, uh, um, I'm sorry, the uh, Satisfaction by the Stones, which apparently you know is pretty good. It's a pretty good one to find. I really wish that I could have found some of their their stuff either on 45 or LP. This guy here, I guess this is his solo album. Uh, he was one of the members of Los Sapson, so take a look at that cover. That's really cool looking. Definitely got the, uh, the '60s babe on there, <laughs> the rolling Z uh, But there's uh, La Chicha Los de Ojos Negros, which uh, for the <laughs> uh, uh, roughly translated brown-eyed girl. Uh, so there's some pretty cool songs on there. Um, out and about, you know, Boyce, Boyce and Hart is on there too that they've recorded that. So that's going to be pretty awesome to listen to. Uh, we got uh, When Rock Es Noche, good rockin' tonight, I guess. Um, you know, a lot of sort of, I have a feeling this is going to be sort of a lot of 50s stuff, but it, I would imagine it's going to be pretty cool. Um, Los Blue Caps are on there, really good band. Los Hooligans as well, too. So this one I'm kind of excited for as well. Uh, this was a two two part, there's actually three CDs total, so I just got CD1 and CD3. They didn't have the other ones. Um, but uh, original versions, limited edition, so uh, there's some pretty cool stuff on here, like 96 Tears, Light My Fire, California Sun, uh, Papilla from Los Epsons. Uh That's a pretty cool video. I'll see if I can link it. I know that I know it's on YouTube here. Um, some pretty good stuff on that one. Uh, this one too. That's a good one. Un hombre respectable. So, you know, obviously Ray Davies tune there. Well respected men. Um, got this one too. Los Americans. Just uh, just seems like to be just kind of random rock of the '60s, which I think is going to be pretty cool. Guys look pretty pretty suave there. That's a cool one. Uh, Los Juniors. Uh, this one kind of caught my eye because it had as time goes by there by the stones. So um, all of these were you got all these for a thousand pesos, so you know like roughly about seventy five dollars or so. Um, got a two disker here, thirty tracks, a lot of really good bands. Um, you know, obviously the you know, sixties kind of thing. This label here is one of the biggest independent la record labels in Mexico. So um, not really too sure if that's from you know, if that was some sort of festival or something like that that they were throwing all of that pictures from. Uh, not really too sure if it's alive or not, but uh, an interesting note too is that, like a lot of these have these stickers on them here. They basically just say that they're legitimate CDs because um, there's a lot of pirated CDs you know throughout Mexico. I mean, basically all those things that they sell in the stands. Um, I wouldn't say all of that. I mean, that's sort of a blanket statement, but for the majority of what I saw was kind of just you know uh, copied and you know, printed. Um, this one here, he suggested that he had the original, like the actual album of this, which sort of I think had that picture on the front of it. Um, Karina uh, <laughs> said, "Muy bonita," <laughs> uh, which means very beautiful. And uh, so I don't know. I'm excited to kind of hear this. This one had more tracks on it. Um, probably should have gone with the, the main one, but you know, whatever. Um, so kind of excited to hear this one as well. So. Thank you guys for coming along and uh, enjoying most of the uh, the adventure with me today. So we'll uh, we'll do it again, and we're going back to Pittsburgh tomorrow. So um, we're gonna film another video. I'm gonna try to film a video every single day. You know, talk about music, talk about record shopping, all kinds of good stuff. So uh, hope to subscribe, and uh, we'll see you around. So signing off.